This is Margaret Ann Windsor. If anybody's following my videos, um, I uh, was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 42, 41, excuse me, brought to Molson, Alabama, given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey Childers. Childers was my married name. Both twins were dead. They were born out of wedlock and killed by their mother, Lionel. Uh, it was a pigsty. It was a hellhole. What can I say? I found out, and I'm going to just give this little bit of background so if anybody uh, watches it or they know where I'm coming from a bit. Um, I wrote about mind control. Let me say that. I was working for doctors, had worked for doctors all along. In 77, I wrote a medical malpractice book, or 76, 77, 78. And I wrote about Larry McDonald, a congressman, a physician from Atlanta, and wrote about mind control cases and what you can do. You can modify behavior. Or you can program a person to go out and kill or do anything the programmer wants them to do. You can uh, create an illness or you can cure it, such as cancer, anything. You can make them commit suicide, and how do you prove it? It's not suicide. It's murder by mind control. Now then, the uh, murders and uh, all of the things I wrote about were done in patterns using mind control. And there were lists of them out at NASA. And by the way, the Brits have been killed and, and everything in this war. Uh, I was kidnapped. My um, father, I found out in 83, is Edward VIII. He was married to um, Claudia O'Keefe, Georgia O'Keefe, the artist's sister. Born an American, she was Irish Catholic, and um, it wasn't just that part of the Windsors didn't like her back then. I found out it's the New World Order orchestrated the whole thing. My kidnapping, my uncle George illegal helped, and the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Joe Kennedy was ambassador, and that's exactly the reason they don't tell about the Kennedy um, assassination. Uh, it seems all right here in this country. Too many people know about what's been done to me and ongoing. They just assume see me dead. Um, they love uh, John F. Kennedy. doesn't matter if he's mafia or what. And I was two years old, and the whole thing about my dad was contrived just to take him down. Pack of lies. He wasn't married to Wallace Simpson, and the impositor was. And a 99-year seal. Now then, I put on here, because right now they're finishing me off. I'm allergic to chemicals, have a immune disorder, and if I get around chemicals, um, especially if I'm force fed them, uh, like your the room you're renting, the home you have, or I used to go up on the mountains to have a place to live when I first came here, um, and they would come out. Uh, I'm talking about the volunteers. So you've got the law enforcement told to do it. Because I got a letter, let me go back to this, from the FBI when I was doing the book. And I can't tell all that happened. I got filled full of antifreeze April the 1st of 80. And that was back in 80. And I, it would take, I don't know how many tapes to even begin to tell what happened to me. All of them illegal and life-threatening. The antifreeze, I should have died, gone in a coma and died. Instead, I was illegally transported across the state line where I worked for uh, Fred Simpson, the district attorney, in that condition. And any of the names I've told about, any of it can be checked out if anybody cares. That was in Huntsville, Fred Simpson, the Madison County district attorney. And then I, after a couple of jobs, I was just thrown on the side of the street, really. Uh, I ended up up here. I never could get an attorney, civil rights, uh, not anyone to touch it. And I um, came up here and I lived on the Appalachian Trail, starved, froze. And I was told about my kidnapping and my real name but actually before I came up here. And the point I want to make is I put all this on tape. So it looks like I'm running around maybe uh, that I'm free to go where I want to. That's preposterous. I'm a hostage, just like the British are. And just what's happening today in Nigeria is the Great Britain's being invaded uh, using the kidnapping as a guise. Uh, I'm sitting right here. I'm the legal monarch, Victoria II. 
and uh, I'm right outside D.C., not that far down in Virginia. So Michelle Obama, um, President Obama, all of you, he's part of the New World Order, by the by the way they are, and that's the people who helped kidnap me back then, the Jews, uh, the whole bit, the Kennedys, the... Uh, my own uncle, all of it, the Rockefellers, and that's the reason the media won't tell it, they're controlled by the Rockefellers. But what they've done is they've used my illness on me since I came here, and where I live, I mean, there's no law, the law's telling them to to do it. So I've named, in the last tapes I've done today, it's, um, I entitled it, uh, um, what did I entitle it, uh, title it, I don't know right at the moment, um, Murder weapons uh, by convenience. If you want to know why I'm stuttering and can't get this out, I just woke up. I Wednesday was a week ago. Beth, the one that claims, and these people know it, the Cooperman owns all these corporate suites and extended stays, etc. And I put this on the other tapes because I can't go to the law enforcement. Uh, so until I got the YouTube. And internet, I couldn't to go to Facebook. I couldn't. I had no way to even tell what was happening to me. I'm not sure it's done me any good whatsoever. And I've put proof of it on the videos. But um, the woman that um, has come here uh, to Corporate Suites, Northern Drive here in Salem, I mean, she blatantly, just like they have all along, the other places, and uh, there's a bunch of court, well, four Corporate Suites, I think, or five. And nobody is going to stop until they're locked up. What they're doing is they're being told by law enforcement because they get stuff on them or their kids and uh, to get them to participate, and they do willingly. I'm not sure they would have to get anything on them, but they're using chemicals that are killing me. Uh, if if you're in a room or a car where and you're allergic to chemicals and you're enclosed there, especially where you're living, and you're having to inhale, you're forced to inhale these chemicals, and it's horrifying. It tears your liver, your kidneys, the inflammation, and over the years, it, it's slow killing you. It's murder. Uh, you wouldn't dare, I use this as an example, because you wouldn't dare put this, uh, a person who's allergic to bees, put bee in a car or room with them or feed somebody who's allergic to peanut butter, peanut butter. So I'm just going to, uh, I've told, everybody knows it. Nobody's going to touch it. So again this morning, because I can't talk to this woman, I mean, how do you talk to someone when they blatantly tell you to go to hell, we're going to come in and use it. It doesn't matter what, and they do. Uh, so last week, I, well, let me say this. I put uh, a letter with all this again, the medicine I'm taking, that suddenly they've got me on because I got shingles uh, after I came here a month and a half ago. And it should have cleared up, but it can as long as they're coming in and putting wax and stuff on the floor and smearing stuff in the bathroom, and I don't know what it is other than it knocks me out. And I went, uh, I bit my tongue and passed out last Wednesday. Well, the doctor put me on the stuff again, and it's um, uh, used to control seizures and to relieve pain, nerve pain following shingles, et cetera, et cetera. So, so she said to put me on that again, and they know it. So what I have to say, it didn't do me any good to put a letter to Kay. Uh, McKay is her last name, Debbie, the manager. Now then, Beth is the person, the housekeeper, very well knows it. Last Wednesday, this is just two units on the side. Last Wednesday, she deliberately coated everything, and there's nothing I can do about it. I passed out then, bit my tongue, and uh, I don't know what all happened to me. So they know that. Now then, they cleaned the room right next door to me, and there's just two units on the side. It's away from everything. And today she comes back. Now, I don't know if the person moved after paying a week and moved out in uh, five days or four. I don't know. But she didn't come in mind. They're right close to each other. They're studios. All I know is she could have um, smeared some of the stuff on the air conditioning unit right here outside. All I know is I shouldn't be getting it. 
And man, I the minute she started using whatever it is in there, I started passing out. 